Good afternoon, my name is Puneet Alawalia and I am very proud to be on Teens Got Talent and today is our first pilot program and very proud to be associated with the show. In fact, uh, I got attached to the show because we have our own show called Your Minutes of Fame. Go to yourminutesoffame.com and you can upload your video and let your friends and your family members vote for you and that could make you famous and especially Bollywood on May 8th when Sukhwinder Singh is coming in town at Dark Constitution Hall he's going to be singing the famous J-Ho song which was in the movie Slumdog Millionaire remember the movie that's got the Oscar nominations? quite a few of them so we have a unique opportunity to show your talent and we are very fortunate to collaborate with Teens Got Talent and we have a wonderful line of great talented teens here who are going to show and display their various talents some are raw, some are experienced but some are really really great so <coughs> viewers you have an exciting show and guys do not touch the remote we'll be right back and we'll have a lot of fun and you will enjoy watching with Teens Got Talent there's some really great talented teens here please do not go give you one last football some more go ahead and put your hands together
Thank you. That was 210. Uh, that was 138. Up next is 210.
All right, thank you. That was 225. This is 226. I dream about flying. I mean, not really flying, more like floating. It always starts with me running really, really fast, and then the terrain below me just becomes steep and rocky. But I don't stop. I just keep climbing higher with every stride that I take. But as soon as I look down, everything changes. I'm flying high up above the sky, right? Nothing can touch me. I'm free. I'm safe. But then it hits me. I'm complete. Utter. Alone. And then I wake up. I've never told anyone that before. Up next, we've got contestant 232. 232. Okay, okay, enough about your breakup with your cat, which I'm pretty sure you may need some special help for that. Now let me tell you about my first date with Chad. I think he really, really likes me. After our date, I left him like five voicemails telling him how much fun I had, and he texted back, cool. <laughs> He's so romantic. I didn't actually have fun though, because he took me to watch a scary movie. And I sat there the whole time with my eyes closed while he laughed at the screen. But at one part, he did get kind of scared, and he almost touched my hand. <laughs> We're so getting married. Looks like my future husband's texting me now. I think we should see other people. <laughs> I can't believe you're such a hard <laughs> All right, up next we've got 238. Oh my god, Kenzie, you're not going to leave my date on Saturday. Let me tell you this. So, as we got to the restaurant, I went to the bathroom to go freshen up. And as we freshen up, I looked down and there's a spider on me. I freaked out, tripped into the bathroom stall, my hair landed in the toilet, and so did my phone. I then looked down and my manicure is completely ruined. I looked in the mirror and I was horrified. Lipstick all over my face, and then I realized I wasn't even a spider, it was my eyelash. I could never let him see me like this, so I snuck out the back and let my friend take me home. Cats, you think he'll call me? <laughs> that was 238. Up next, we got 242. 242. What a lovely time to meet. I'll offer you a bit of advice. If I may, I suggest you to purchase a dog before you have kids, considering it is the patriotic thing to do. My husband and I bought a dog and named him Granddad after my granddad, but Granddad had a terrible habit of running into the road and was hit by a car one day and died. So we bought another dog and named Granddad after the first dog, and this Granddad had a nasty compulsion of chasing after cars. He was also hit by a car one day and died. So we bought another dog and named him Mugger, but Mugger was just like the other two, and I was quite disappointed this having been our third dog that died and all. As I went, as I went to pick up Mugger's body from the street, a neighbor stopped me and said. You know, you ought to keep your dogs on a leash, and perhaps they wouldn't run into the road to die quite so often. And I thought, well, that is an absolutely brilliant idea. So I turned to my husband and I said, Husband, it is perfectly horrific picking up mother's body from the street. If we ever own children, we want Time. to keep them on a leash. Thank you very much. All right, up next, we've got contestant 245. 245. All right. I'm going to admit something I never thought I would admit to anyone ever. I have a crush on Adam, head over heels, uncontrollable passion. Now I know this sounds like I'm throwing away everything I said so far, and I guess I am. I know it's hopeless. I know that, but I just can't help it. Just thinking he might look at me, my heart starts pounding like that, and then I start to worry that he can tell my husband crazy, and I have to act really cool. Crush, it's, it's like a disease. I'm crazy. I can lie here for hours thinking about it. But I say, I can't bear to be just another notch at the He has to beg me to go out with him. Grow, almost. 
that. I thank you very much. Judges, 325 is a scratch. Please welcome 327. Where is this 
dog. Oscar, the trapeze artist, is on top of my kitchen cabinets. And this dog is the size of my foot, so of course the genius is afraid to jump down. Mind you, this was the first morning and I had already passed out from dog anxiety. Thank you very much. Here to give us more, it's 424. Oh, 
have the most beautiful smile, or you're just so gorgeous. It's kind of funny, honestly, because I don't do anything to give up any kind of interest at all, whatsoever, and they still come up to me thinking they're so suave. <sighs> Guys really are just oblivious. Maybe if I vomited on myself, then they could walk the other way. I bet even then I get the way you vomit on yourself is so delightful. <laughs> Next up we have 607. It doesn't matter they have got a million dollar contract or not yet, but these kids and children have fun. The teens had a really good time. Please, 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 if you want your child or your teen to have, uh, has a talent, wants to be on the show business and wants to be famous, tell them to go to yourminutesoffame.com, <coughs> upload your video, and teens got talent will get you here on the stage. <laughs> 